What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we have the SIG P365, and we are going to compare it to the Shadow System CR920. Now, all of my comparison videos get a ton of views, and they get a ton of people who are butthurt when I say something about their gun that I don't like. This is just for fun. It's just my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right, so try not to get too to butt her about it. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom, talk about the magazines. See, uh, this is a 10 round magazine because that's all I could have because Rhode Island really sucks. It is also available in a 10, 12, 15, and now a 17 round magazine with the X macro. So you could carry a 10 plus, well really, uh, a 10 plus one in the P365 plus a spare 17 round magazine. Not too bad. The Shadow System comes and is available in a 10 round magazine and in a 13 round magazine. I don't believe there's any other sizes. Uh, again, the SIG has been out longer, so you will see that the uh, accessories and the aftermarket accessories and stuff is a little bit better. better. The grip. Uh, SIG grip is good. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. The texture is good. Sandpaper X-esque type texture. No issues there. Shadow System is a very similar texture. Uh, does go up a little bit higher if you care. Uh, the grip feels just as good. Very, very similar to me. I don't think there's a big pro or con. The Shadow System does have this very small little finger ledge with a little bit of texturing so you know where to keep your trigger finger or the thumb on your support hand if that's a big deal to you. It is there. One big advantage the SIG has is going to be the removable FCU or fire control unit. You pop one little pin, the trigger housing fire control unit pulls out and it allows you to do a lot of magical things with the SIG. Not only does it allow you to switch the, the FCU into different size SIG grips, but there's also a huge, again, aftermarket support. This grip here is from Icarus Precision. This is my everyday carry and it's like a cheat code for a small gun. It makes it shoot significantly nicer but there's a bunch of different options out there sig has a bunch wilson combat mischief machine whatever one you like it makes it a very very modular gun and uh definitely an advantage for the sig mag release is pretty much a tie they're reversible drops the mags freely good shape good size good texture i don't really have much to say about the magazine releases now the uh trigger guard undercut the uh the hollow sun wow the shadow system does have a dig double trigger undercut it's a little bit more aggressive i don't think it's a really a big deal but i figured i would mention it trigger is also something that's a little tricky here because the sh both guns are available in a bunch of different versions now the sig has like 82 different versions the cr920 has two different versions and within those different versions there's different models so it gets very very hard to compare let's just compare the two base entry level triggers the sig this curved sig trigger is okay it's average it's better than a glock it's not great if i'm comparing the base factory sig trigger to the base factory cr920 trigger i'm going to give a small advantage to the cr920 i think it's a little bit crisper a little bit shorter reset and i like the base trigger a little bit better if you start if you look into the flat face trigger of the sig i really dig that flat face trigger that comes with the xl and above in that case i would give the advantage to the sig but base models i do like the shadow systems a little bit better what we always do at this point if you're new here is we take a 10 second break we get up close and personal with the trigger so you can really see the take up the reset the wall all that good stuff i will be back in 10 seconds i want you to be able to see and smell and hear and taste the trigger you lick the screen it's going to taste like blackout coffee because that's what i've been drinking and i'll be right back guys Now moving forward to the rail, the SIG does have a proprietary rail. It has been out for a while, so there's lots of choices for lights and lasers, but it is a proprietary rail. The Shadow System is a standard 1913 rail, which I like. Because it's so short, there's not too many options out there, but again, it's a standard 1913 rail, so you will be more likely to have options for this one if you want to add a light or a laser or whatever you want. Slide release. Um, both of them I think are in a good shape, a good size, good location. I don't ride either one of them when I'm shooting 
which is good. They're both only on the left side of the gun, so you uh, lefties are bumming, and I don't really have a big pro or con or anything to say about that. Takedown is gonna be very, very different, and I don't know how many people are gonna care, but let's go through it. The Shadow System is a Glock pattern gun. It has a lot of Glock interchangeable parts, which is cool, and the takedown is pretty much same as a Glock. Always, you make sure the gun is unloaded, first step. You pull back on the slide slightly, pull down on the extended, uh, take down levers, pull the trigger, and the slide comes right off. Now you can pull the trigger first or after. I prefer to do it that way. And if you look inside of this gun, it is a lot of Glock parts. It looks just like a Glock. It has a dual captured recoil spring. It has a nice little barrel. All of the Shadow Systems barrels are very, very fancy. They have a lot of nice fluting. They're very aesthetically pleasing. You can get them in black or gold. That is part of the options you can get. And there is quite a few different versions, different options for you. Let me put this Shadow Systems back together. And let's talk about the SIG. Now, if you are the type of person who are afraid or uncomfortable, I should say, to pull the trigger when you're taking down a gun, the SIG may be a better option for you. Again, pull the slide to the rear, make sure it's unloaded. There's a little takedown lever here. You just slide that takedown lever down and then the slide comes right off without you having to pull the trigger. One thing I wanna pull out, point out, is the uh, accessory, not the accessory rail, the, um, man, the rail that the slide rides on. I forgot what it's called. Man, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. I need more coffee. Yeah, it, it, it goes through more than half of the gun. So it, it technically it should be a better shooting gun, a more solid gun, but I don't know that it really is, but it's one of the differences I wanted to make sure I pointed out. Recoil spring, again, is a captured, dual captured recoil spring. And then the barrel, I can't quite take the barrel out because I have a compensator on this particular one, um, but it is a standard SIG type barrel. This slot, uh, Barrel and comp is actually from Parker Mountain Machine, not an actual SIG barrel. Now let's talk about the slide in the upper half of the gun. There are some similarities, but there's a lot of differences. I think as far as the material and the finish on both of the guns, the durability, I have holstered and unholstered a ton of SIG guns, a ton of Shadow Systems guns, and I think they're gonna be about the same. I don't think one would be more likely to rust than the other. With that said, this, I did get some rusting on my SIG trigger a long time ago, but that's another story for another day. Uh, serrations are uh, a little different. They both have front and rear serrations. The SIG serrations are okay, they're not bad, uh, but they're not overly aggressive. I definitely think the serrations on the Shadow Systems are a little bit better. They're a little bit more aggressive, they lean forward, they cut into the slide more, is what I should say. So if you look at the rear serration, there's more uh, material there. More, uh, better grip, better more to grip onto is what I'm trying to say. So the serrations, we will give a small advantage in my opinion to the Shadow Systems. The sights are gonna be very, very similar. Uh, Shadow Systems partnered with Night Vision on these and Night Vision makes a great, great set of sights, one of my favorites. The front has a green uh, circle around it, tritium in the middle, they're steel sights, the rear has a ledge for one-handed manipulations, it has some serrations, so uh, the sights are very, very good, and they are Glock 43 pattern sights, so if you don't like these, any Glock 43 sights will work. And the same thing with the holster as well, pretty much any Glock 43 holster will work with the Shadow Systems. Now the SIG, uh, I have replaced the sights. These are um, XS Big Dot sights. I didn't do them because I didn't like the SIG sights, XS wanted me to do a video on their sites. They sent me sites, so I threw them on here. But the factory ones are very, very good. They're called the SIG X-Ray sites. Again, you have a green circle around a tritium vial. Two tritium uh, vials in the back. They're steel sites, the ledge, they're good to go. The two things I wanna point out is the SIG rare sites. One of the tritium vials I had a problem with and they don't work. And then uh, the shadow system does not have uh, two tritium dots in the rear. So I wanna make sure I point that out. But uh, overall, the sights are very close, good to go. I wouldn't have a problem with either one of them. Now the optic system, again, is a very, very interesting one to talk about. The standard SIG P365 does not come optics ready. Every other version of the SIG P365 does. So if you get the X or the XL or the X Macro or the other 100 systems out there, they are available optics ready. I sent this out to Jaeger Works Custom to have this uh, optic added. Some of the SIG versions, you lose the rear sight when you add an optic. I don't remember which ones, I'm sorry, 
but some of them you do. Actually, while we talk about the optic system, let's take a look at the dimensions and the price and the weight so you have this up on the screen to talk about as we go through it. So there's the SIG. The standard P365 is not optics ready. I wouldn't carry that gun for that. This I had done aftermarket. Uh, both of them take the Holosun 507K, 407K Shield, RMSC, very, very common footprint, pretty much the standard when it comes to micro compact guns. Um, the shadow systems, uh, they both screw right down to the slide is what I'm going to say. I love when optics screw right down to the slide. I don't like it when you're forced to use an accessory plate. In my opinion, that accessory plate is another weak point, something that could break when the optic goes to the plate and the plate goes to the slide. I don't love that. I prefer the, the optic to go right down to the slide and they both do. Again, same footprint on the shadow systems. The way shadow system does it is they give you a little filler that you put either in front of or behind the optic and it gives you, especially on the full size gun, it gives you a very wide range of optics that will work with the gun. And again, it still allows you to go right down to the slide. So I really, really like that shadow system, how they have their optic setup. All right, once again, I'm gonna pull up the dimensions here, the weight, the pricing. The, the shadow system is going to be a little bit more expensive. It's really hard to compare the pricing because um, there's so many different versions of both of them. But if you take the entry level price, the base price, the shadow systems will be a little bit more expensive. So I'll leave these up for a second while we talk. The last three categories I wanna to touch on quickly is durability, shootability, and aesthetics. And then we'll talk about the pros and the cons and you can go home. Uh, durability is an interesting one. So we're gonna start there. Both of these guns, when they came out, they had a hiccup. The SIG had a big hiccup. The SIG had some problems. Shadow Systems had a couple little issues as well, I believe with the barrel. Uh, but with that said, I believe both companies have fixed the early hiccups and both of these guns are good to go. Uh, the, both of these guns are pretty much the only guns that I carry. I like the small, really, really thin dimension gun. It's a lot more comfortable, a lot easy to carry, especially now in Rhode Island that there's a 10 round magazine limit. Lore, stupidity, uh, I just prefer to carry these small guns with 10 rounds and then a spare 10 round magazine. So um, uh, if I didn't think these guns were durable, I would not carry them. So early hiccups, I think the durability on both of the guns now are just about a tie. Shootability is also a very, very tricky one because again, the do you include the modularity on the SIG? Do you not? So I'm gonna say this. If I had a bone stock SIG P365 next to a bone stock CR920, I prefer the CR920. Something about it, and I'm pretty much a SIG fanboy here. Something about it, I like it better. I shoot it better right out of the box. I don't, I, I can't say why, but I do like it. I shoot it better, faster, easier to go. However, with the SIG modularity, if you are gonna take that into consideration, it allows you to do so many different things to this gun. Like this is a XL frame, which is great. Again, I carry it in the Icarus Precision frame. So when you start putting comps and different grips on this gun, obviously that's a big advantage and the gun's gonna shoot nicer at that point. So take it for what it's worth. Aesthetics, uh, not even close. I think, and I think most people will agree, the Shadow Systems is a much more aesthetically pleasing gun. Again, right out of the box. If you compare a bone stock, both of these guns, Shadow Systems is a beautiful gun. I think most people would say the Shadow System looks nicer. Again, the modularity, you can trick out the SIG and make it look the way you want. So maybe that's an advantage for you, but I just wanna present the facts and help you make an educated choice. Now shooting. I have a ton of rounds through both of these guns, through both of these brands. The SIG has been my carry gun for a few years, so I am very, very familiar with it. I have shot a ton of shadow systems, and I probably have close to a thousand rounds through this specific CR920. And again, this is about the only guns that I carry, so I do think I am extremely informed on these guns enough to make uh, some, to tell you some good pros and cons on the gun. So. Let's start off with the SIG and let me see how many of these pros and cons I can remember. The biggest pro for me has to be the removable FCU. That's something that SIG did on the P320 and the 365 that uh, it makes it very, very tough to beat. I never wanted to like SIG and I'm always hesitant to say I'm a SIG fanboy. I don't wanna be a SIG fanboy, but I am a SIG fanboy. And the biggest reason is that removable FCU. It allows you to customize the gun and make it however you want. Very, very tough to beat. 
I like that they come with steel sights unlike the Glocks. No gun should come with plastic sights. Uh, the optics system on the other SIG guns are okay. I don't like it that this one doesn't come optics ready. I had to send this one out to get an optics cut. Uh, take it down without pulling the trigger. I know a lot of people are going to like that. I don't really care. And that's about it as far as pros on the SIG. As far as cons on the SIG, um, the trigger's eh. The trigger's average. It's not bad. It's good enough. Again, I don't like it that it doesn't come optics ready. And uh, the proprietary rail is kind of a bummer. And uh, I guess that's about all I can complain. Shadow system pros. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. It's uh, a very, very nice looking gun. The serrations are better. Comparing it to a stock 365, I like the sights uh, a little tiny bit better. The trigger a little tiny bit better. I definitely like the optics cut better. Um, and that's going to be about it. Cons, um, the SIG definitely has an advantage on the magazines. We should probably mention that. The shadow system again is 10, 10 and 13 rounds. The SIG is 10, 12, 15, 17. So you have more advantage there. And then other cons, I don't really think there's any other con to the shadow systems. Let me just go through the gun in my mind and think about it. Yeah, that, that is going to be about it. So we went through the both of the guns. I hope I gave you enough information to hopefully steer you in one direction or the other. Best thing you can do is get your hands on both, see which one fits your hands the best. If you can shoot both, even better, because as much as I tell you what I do and don't like, it may be very, very different for you. That's just the way it is. Before you go, I want to thank the sponsor of the video. I was supposed to do this earlier, and I forgot, of course, because I forget everything. It's Blackout Coffee. This is actually whiskey, not coffee, but that's okay. I like to blow on my whiskey so people think it's coffee just to kind of trick them. Blackout Coffee makes great coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Very, very delicious. I will warn you, once you start drinking it, you will become addicted, and then you're gonna drink something gross like Dunkin' Donuts, and you're gonna become a coffee snob. But there is a discount code down below if you wanna try it, and it tastes really, really good. That's cinnamon French toast. It's actually not whiskey, but <laughs> either way. What else do I wanna say? Swag. If you want to support the channel, this is the best way to do so. We have long sleeve shirts like this one. We have short sleeve shirts. We have patches. If you want to support the channel, that is the best way to do so. Most important, thank you guys for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. If you do any of those things, excuse me, really helps me out. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.